Rosil here from Fashion Steel NYC and welcome back to my channel and another Miami vlog. Make sure to give your girl a thumbs up and subscribe if you love fashion, beauty, lifestyle, and travel videos. All right guys, so welcome to another Miami vlog. We're back with the vlogs. I know y'all love the fashions and I've been doling it out. Okay, I've been doling it out, but we back. We are back from Barbados and we have a few events happening today i'm going to a pool day um it's a comp pool day and a brunch with my girl ria i think we're going to some kind of karaoke event tonight at the good time hotel which is pharrell and dave's dave grutman's hotel here on south beach tomorrow i have an event so it's time it's time to vlog I just got myself together, did my everyday makeup look. It's the same look featured in the previous video. The lip is ColourPop Limbo. And I don't know what it is about a dark matte lip, but I love it. Also still sticking with the cat eye today. It's a really tiny one though. I have a Zara haul for you all today. It's been a hot minute since I've shopped at Zara. There's one not too far away. And I just happened to pop in there and the goods are good at Zara. Zara is coming through, okay? I, I slept on Zara for a good two years because it was just saming to me. And also, I feel like everybody shops at Zara. So like, once everybody has one thing, it just makes me not want it. Sound off below if you feel the same. Anywho, wearing this Skims house dress. Y'all know it comes in like six colors, size down. I'm wearing a small, normally your girl is a medium. I'll link it down below. I'm gonna go ahead and get dressed for the pool day. I'm gonna throw on this super cute camo bathing suit from Normal Kamali. It's on sale, y'all. I'll link it down below. Um, and then I'm gonna go through and show you a few pieces in from Zara, a pair of denim jeans, a top, a two-piece set. Two-piece set is so good, y'all. A dress, a linen dress. <laughs> y'all know how I feel about linen. And some earrings. They have some bomb accessories. All right, without further ado, Let's hop right into the Miami vlog. All right, y'all, let me just go ahead and start with the earrings first. But I got three pair of earrings from Zara, starting with these. They are this beautiful hammered gold. Uh, y'all know how I feel about hammered gold. Now these were $22.90. Um, and then I got these, which I featured in a previous video. These are really cool too, also $22.90. I love how they made these. Like, it's a little hoop, can you see it? So it's a little hoop, and then this is the back. So when you put it all together, it looks like a cool little hoop, also $22.90. And then I got these earrings, but I'm gonna have to take these back, y'all. And these were my favorite ones. I wanted to take these for uh, New York Fashion Week. But they're like these upside down flowers almost. Really, really cute. But the backing fell off of one. So I'm gonna have to take these back. But all of these earrings are $22.90 from Zara and super, super cute. All right, you guys. So I'm all dressed and ready for my pool day. So let's get into the rest of the items I got from Zara. I have the receipt over here too so I can tell you how much everything costs. First up, I got this linen dress in like this beautiful kind of sagey green um, in a size small, no, medium. Uh, it's so beautiful. It's a one shoulder dress with a long sleeve. It kind of ruches around the mid area um, here. One arm is out. It has a hidden zipper here in the side. It is a midi dress and it does have a slit along the left side. It's such a beautiful dress. The quality on this is absolutely incredible. Let me see how much it was because this was the most expensive thing. This dress was $149, so $150, but well worth it. I think this is great for an occasion like a late summer wedding when it starts to kind of get a little bit cooler when it's around, you know, in the mid 70s, low 70s, high 60s. This would look absolutely stunning with like a pair of mules or even a pair of sneakers. It does have a little bit of stretch, but not enough that you can like size down. Definitely go with your normal size in this dress. And yeah, it's looks. And definitely, I believe it's worth $150. Um, and I just love the shape of it. I think it's so cool. 
so i will link that dress down below hopefully they still have it when this video goes live i would have had it for one week so y'all know how stuff be selling out in zara though so we'll see i'll link it online um but it's definitely in store at this time next up you guys ah! y'all know me i love a two-piece set i love a monochrome moment and i saw this hanging on the rack it didn't look like much but i knew when I put it on, it was going to be a dream. By the way, I don't try anything on in store. I buy everything. I go home and I try it or I order it online. And I try it and then if it don't fit, I send it back. But I cannot do the fitting rooms. I'm, I can't do it. I don't have the patience no more. I don't know why. But anywho, I got this two-piece set. It is like a cotton and it's a good cotton. Not the kind of cotton that's going to like shrink when you put it in the wash. Um, it's a two-piece kind of like cotton set with a crop top and a matching um, almost like a midi maxi skirt with the slit up the back and pockets. Now, it's just giving effortless. It's giving I'm here but I haven't really tried too hard. In the top, I went with my normal size which is a medium because it's a little bit kind of oversized. The bottom I actually sized down to a small because I didn't want I did want it to fit a little bit better. Normally I'm a medium or a size 28 in anything from Zara, but in this I sized down and I love the way it looks. Um, it's very very comfortable, very soft on the skin. I'm looking at the stitching on it and it's good quality. It's good and it's actually a little bit thick as well. It has a ribbing around the collar and also a thick rib around the skirt base. Um, it does have quite a bit of stretch and it last stain inside of there. And then it has pockets and kind of a higher slit in the back of the skirt. It's just so cool. It's like so effortlessly cool. I can see myself wearing this with like a hat. Let me grab one of my hats. I can definitely see myself like wearing this set with like this, this hat. You know, and maybe like a little uh, Chanel slide or a mule and just kind of edging it up. This would actually be a great travel look for when I go for a Milan or a Paris Fashion Week. Um, so yeah, prepare to see this two-piece set a lot. Also, I think it's so great to buy two-piece sets because of course you can wear them together and it looks very put together it looks very chic very smart but then you get your money's worth because of course i could just wear this top with a different bottom i can wear the skirt with a different top and it just works let me give you the price points on those let's see where is it okay so the skirt was 22 dollars and 90 cents and the top was 27 dollars and 90 cents which is kind of weird did I get that backwards? Just, oh no, that's actually the rice. Okay. If they're online, of course, I'll link it down below. Um, I have two more items from Zara that I think you all would love. I got this little top, which is just a plain, easy, um, ribbed crop top. This came up to seven bucks. I got it in a, in a medium. And I just think a nice neutral top is great to have in your wardrobe um, because you can always throw a blazer over it to make it a little more elevated and smart. Um, and I believe, I can't find my other one. I used to have one and I can't find it, y'all. So I had to re-up. And y'all know Zara does these little rib knits so good and it fits really, really great. And I paired it with this pair of denim jeans from Zara that everyone has been talking about these jeans. And honestly, I don't own one pair of jeans from Zara, and so I was a little skeptical. But when I like felt the quality of the jeans, I was like, wow, like the quality, it's there. It's there. It almost feels like old school, like heavy Levi jeans that you can wash a million times and they just get better with every wash. But I got these distressed straight leg denim jeans from Zara. I got them in a size medium or a 28 which is a us size 6 they fit perfect now here's the thing about these jeans they have no stretch they have no give they kind of squish your butt a little bit but i also like how retro they look they're giving very much like tony braxton um in the early 90s 
types of vibes you know with the crop top and everything and the short pixie like that's what it's giving um and i love the distressing of the knees it's not too much it's not too little it's just enough and then i'm not i'm not sure if you can see but the ends of the pants are unhemmed it just looks like they just been cut um, they are a little bit long. I would definitely have to wear these with a uh, heel. I am five foot six inches tall and there's a good inch and a half um, if I don't wear a heel or if I just stand straight. But you can always get them tailored if you are on the shorter side, but they do look incredible. They definitely look vintage, which is what I like. I don't like so much that they squish your butt a little bit, but I mean, that's kind of that 90s look anyway. But again, the quality on these, really, really incredible. Um, and these came up to $49.96, so 50 bucks for these jeans. And honestly, they're definitely worth the money. I can already see myself wearing these so many different ways. Um, so I can definitely vouch for these denim jeans that everyone has been talking about from Zara. They're good. And I can tell they're going to last forever. Um, so that is it with my Zara haul. Just those denim jeans, that little crop top, this two-piece set, um, the linen-like dress, the three pairs of earrings, one of which I have to send back because they kind of fell apart. And that's it. It's been a minute since I shopped at Zara, like I said, but they are coming through. Um, I also just got in a little something from Simon Miller which is one of my favorite designers. I feel like all of the things are just so cool. There's just an element of cool about Simon Miller pieces. Um, so I bought these earrings, which were actually in, I believe, one of my designer luxury sales to shop nail posts. Like, they, they're giving a lot. <laughs> they're giving disco ball. I've really been trying to, you guys know, I'm really into accessories and like statement earrings. And these are just so cool. Plus, I don't have a lot of silver earrings and I felt like I needed a few pair, especially with fashion month coming up. Oh my goodness. <laughs> They're so extra. Y'all know how I love an extra accessory. And these are just so cool. You guys know I have the gold balls, but those are old from a uh, Carolina Herrera and they don't make those anymore. But these are just so fun. And I can definitely see myself creating some kind of look with these during Fashion Month. Um, these are still available. So if you're interested in them, I'll link them down below. I'll also just link some other cool earrings right now that I'm really loving from Simon Miller and from a few other um designers mostly contemporary designers so these aren't cheap don't think they're like 30 bucks they're they were definitely a little bit more than that but ah too sexy for the world forever i'm that girl ah i love them all right guys let me get myself together because i think our car is on the way and i need to put on some sunscreen but before i do that I will show you the look, even though I've worn both of these pieces before. Y'all know I be wearing my clothes, okay? Wear your clothes. All right, y'all, so here's my look for today's festivities. I'm wearing this little cover-up. It's like a little asymmetrical dress, which is really cute. And then underneath, I'm wearing my Norma Kamali um, Army Fatigue one-piece swimsuit, which I love. It's currently on sale, I believe, for like 40 bucks. So I'll link it down below. I'm wearing a medium. Go with your normal size. Also, these earrings are the clear ghost hoops from Hoop Mob, which is a black owned business. I have recently worked with them and I do have a code for them. It is Monroe, um, capital S 10, um, for 10% off of your order. They have super affordable, really cool earrings. Like I said, you guys know I love an earring. I love a statement, jewelry, accessory. Um, they also have some more understated ones if you're not a statement kind of gal, but all very affordable, most of them under 20 bucks. So yeah, you can use my code Monroe S10 for 10% off over at Hoop Mob. Um, let me throw on some sunscreen and a sandal. 
um, and let's go ahead and head for a relaxing pool day in which I will be working. Yeah, because the work never stops. <sighs> All right, y'all. So I'm gonna take my new Gucci bag that I got in from Rebag. If you watched that video, shout out to you. And I also got this little camera, um, this, not an instant camera, but like I have to get the film developed from a uh, Laura Mercier it has 28 photos in, in it. So I'm going to take this and have some fun with Rhea at the pool. Of course, I'm going to take my phone. I might take my little uploader, maybe do a little bit of work. I'm going to take this hat also from Amazon in case it's really hot. Um, I should put on a fragrance because, hey, you never know. By the way, I think it's so funny. <laughs> One of my um, subscribers, I can't remember her name, but she, she comments a lot. She was like, oh, you're so great. I just wish you had like some romance in your life. And I just want you guys to know that just because I don't show romance in my videos, doesn't mean I'm not getting romance. <laughs> You know, um, I don't know if you guys are new here, but I don't vlog my relationships. I have literally gone away on whole trips with a whole man and like vlogged and everything and you would have never known. So yeah, I keep that part of my life for me and not for public consumption. But I thought that was so cute. Um, a lot of times it can sometimes seem like I'm showing you everything, which benefits me because it feels like you know me more. But as a content creator, you have to sometimes have boundaries with some things. Like everything can't be up for consumption. But that's just me. And I think that comes from like an old school mentality. Like I lived in a time where there were not cell phones. <laughs> Okay, I had a pager. I had a beeper <laughs> when I was in what middle school. I don't even think I got a cell phone until maybe I was in high school, like late high school maybe. But yeah, it's like a different time. And because social media is so ingrained and a part of people's lives, sometimes it feels like you see everything when really you all only see about 30% of my actual life. Um, so yeah, if you are watching people's blogs and you're watching people's videos and you think, wow, like their life is so much better and don't ever compare yourself because you're just seeing a glimpse. Like literally this vlog might be an hour and that's just one hour out of, I don't know, a week of my entire life. So yeah, like, you know, Take all this stuff with a grain of salt, y'all. All that to say that. Um, okay, I think that's it. My sunglasses are downstairs. Let's go.
hey y'all so i am back from the national hotel which is an adults only oceanfront hotel on collins here in miami beach and they were so gracious they gave us a cabana um they also gave us like a credit for food and drinks the food was actually really delicious they have two different pools um it's very very cool very kind of art deco on the inside um and Rhea and I just had a good time talking, laughing, drinking. By the way, the hat and the sunglasses are both from Amazon. If you watched my previous Amazon haul. So I'll be sure to link them both down below. I am sweaty. It's so hot today. Um, so now I'm actually going to hop in the shower and freshen up my makeup. And we're going to head to the Good Time Hotel for a comedy show and for dinner. So it should be really fun. I really need to refresh my lip. What is this on my chin? And my makeup and I feel disgusting. I don't know why I'm on my bed. Let me get off of it. <laughs> All right, so I'm gonna shower quickly and change. And in about 45 minutes, call an alto to come and get us and head to the Good Time Hotel. Also, if you happen to be coming to Miami, the Good Time is a really great hotel. It's very central in South Beach, pretty close in walking distance to fun things like Nikki Beach, um, the beach, Ocean Drive, lots of good restaurants. Um, and very, very affordable. The rooms are quite small, but the pool area, the bars, the restaurants they are all kind of make up for it so yeah um it is so freaking hot but everybody loved my little cover-up and my norma kamali swimsuit yeah i got a little bit of sun and we just had such a good time just chatting about life so let me shower and then we're gonna head to the good time. I need to figure out what I'm wearing tonight. Probably like a little dress. All right, guys, I will check in after I bathe. All right, guys, so I got a little bit of, of rest, watched a little bit of YouTube, um, and now I got myself together. I just refreshed my makeup just a little bit with some of the Charlotte Tilbury um, Flawless, Flawless Finish Powder in Deep. Um, and then I added the lip, which is NARS Mysterious Red, both of my Majuri necklaces. And then I put on my Bruce Glenn uh, dress. It's super fun. Um, and I love it. It's also a black owned business started by two twin brothers. Let me show you the full look. All right, guys. So here is the full look. Sorry, the sun is setting and this window is open. Um, it's really, really beautiful. I love the checker print and all of the fun colors i believe i'm wearing a medium um this does come in a like longer midi dress i believe as well as a maxi dress and i think you can get it at nordstrom and a few other places so i'll be sure to link it down below you've probably seen it in a previous uh fashion haul i know i've been doing a lot more fashion hauls well mainly like styling hauls with things already in my closet lately so sound off below if you've been enjoying those videos or if you're just into vlogs i know it's really hard for like people who watch vlogs to watch sit down videos and vice versa i'm kind of the i'm i'm kind i'm the kind of person who can watch both both are very intriguing for me so yeah um i'm gonna pick a shoe a bag throw on a fragrance and go ahead and head to the good time hotel um don't forget you guys i do have a code with um ride alto if you are located in the miami area the dc area um la texas they do have alto um, and you can download the app and use my code monroe20 all capital letters for 20 dollars off of your first two rides i do believe you have to sign up for like the 30-day trial um, but you can always cancel, but don't tell them that I told y'all that y'all can do that, okay? Um, all right, let me get myself together and then we're out of so here. So here's the full look. I really just want to be comfortable. I just added my Hermes Click Clack, my Chanel sandbag, and these uh, heels from, who are these from? I've had them so long. Oh, BCBG. They're super comfy. 
Um, and that is the look for dinner tonight and a comedy show. So let's go. Good afternoon everyone and welcome to day two of the vlog. So last night Rhea and I ended up going to Good Time Hotel and having dinner at Strawberry Moon. It was really really good. It has like a Moroccan theme of food I believe. Um, I had the roasted chicken which was absolutely delicious. It was just seasoned to perfection and Rhea had the Branzino. Everything was so good. The service was A1. They had really fun little drinks that were delicious. Um, I think we ended up getting a crudo which was really delicious. They have this bread. I forgot what it's called um, but the bread is so big and fluffy and like a little bit sweet. It's so good. I highly recommend that. Um, and then we just got a Greek salad, which was delicious. Like the food was good. Like when we left the restaurant, we were stuffed. The ambiance is really nice as well. It's very kind of dimly lit. They have an indoor um, seating area as well as outdoor. And I think it would be like a great cute little date night spot. So if you happen to be staying at the good time, definitely check out the restaurant. And if not, you can always make a reservation and eat there for dinner. Definitely for a date night, girls night out is super cute, fun vibes, very sexy. Um, and then right after that, we ended up popping over to the library, which is this cute little area inside the good time, literally right across the hall from the restaurant. Um, where they had a comedy show they had i believe like four or five comedians come on um and that was pretty fun as well so if you're looking for something to do on you know a night i, I don't know what nights they actually have the comedy show but i'm pretty sure it was on the poster definitely check them out um something fun to do have a dinner and a comedy show so shout out to my girl ria for inviting me to that um we had a really good time at the pool um yesterday as well as at the good time um, so today I'm actually about to head to an event. My girl Cassidy is having an event with a spirits brand and we're going to be making Jamaican patties. Y'all know I live for a Jamaican patty and Cassidy is also Jamaican. I met her through Rhea. Um, she does a lot of work. I believe she works for Def Jam and she does a lot of work here. So happy to be invited to this event with her and the cook because I'm hungry. Literally this is my second cup of coffee today y'all. Actually, I woke up super early and I headed over to the Miami Design District to shoot 
for fashion looks with my girl Maria. She is Bella Rosa blog on Instagram. So if you are looking for an incredible and amazing photographer in the Miami area, check out Maria. She also has a YouTube channel, I believe as well. Um, so yeah, what I'm gonna do is rewind it back, play that footage, let you guys see all of these fashion looks. Make sure you're following me on Instagram at Monroe Steel um, so you can see all of these things as well. Um, so I'll take you back, show you guys the shoot, and then we'll come back here. I'll give you my outfit beats, and then we'll head off to the event. design district and shooting those four fashion looks with my girl Maria the first look we shot was just an everyday look um, it was a from the archive tee and some denim jeans from Zara um, from the archive is one of my favorite black owned brands and they're actually having um, a reissue of that Il Nana top that I was wearing as well as the Fuji's and I think a few others of their very best sellers they're relaunching so definitely check them out I'll link everything I wore in that outfit below. The second look was probably my favorite. It's that two piece set that I showed y'all from Zara. Um, under what, $45 for the skirt and the top. I paired it with a denim hat, my denim Tom Ford heels and my denim Chanel bag. That was probably my favorite look of the shoot. Third, we shot this really cute dress from Farai London, which I believe is a black owned business. It's a really cute mesh dress with a bunch of different colors. Definitely gonna wear this sometime during New York or perhaps Milan fashion week for a dinner or a girls night out. Um, and then lastly, we did uh, my favorite JW Anderson cargo pants. Y'all know I live for a cargo. Um, just a little bandu top um, and an oversized blazer and my Saint Laurent mesh pumps in my little Fendi um, bag and that was that. We had such a fun time shooting. Um, I've linked all of the looks and pieces from every look down below for you all. All right, let me show you guys what I'm wearing today. I'm just wearing this bodysuit. I've worn it so many times. Um, it's sold out and no longer, this brand is no longer around. They like <laughs> went defunct. Um, but Skims has a similar top. I'll link it down below. And the jeans are the same jeans from Zara that I showed y'all already. Um, I think I'm going to pop on those sandals from Shop Akira, the brown ones, and grab my uh, Speedy 20, um, throw on some earrings, and refresh my makeup a bit and head out. The lip, by the way, is ColourPop Limbo. Y'all know this is my favorite one. I wore this into the ground last year. Um, a lot of you hate the dark lip, but I love it. I feel like it gives me like a different kind of edge and I love that look. So I'll link the lip down below. They sell out all the time. Just sign up for the email notification if you love it. All right, guys, let me go grab my things. I'll show you the full look and then we're out of here. I need to call my alto. All right, guys, let's pick a fragrance. Of course, Maison Francise, Kirk Dijon. I love it. it smells amazing. All right, guys, so here is the full look for today. The bodysuit, the jeans from Zara that I've linked down below, my Speedy 20, and of course, my little shop Akira heels that only cost $25. If you haven't been watching my previous videos, you probably already missed out on these, but this is why you gotta watch all the videos. <laughs> all right, guys, let's go.
so i'm back home from cooking with cassidy um she did a collaboration with appleton estate um which is jamaican rum she is jamaican so it was very fitting to head to that restaurant and eat very delicious jamaican food and sip on cocktails that featured the appleton estate um jamaican rum i got the jamaican mule which was delicious saw all my girls there my girl steph was there liz was there um of course cassidy was there um and i met some new ladies as well and we all just bonded over jamaican food and the food at that place i can't remember the name of it but i'll put it down in the description box if you're in miami and you want some really good jamaican food definitely check it out it's in the close to like winwood miami design district i mean not miami design district but winwood um yeah it was really cool and i hear on the weekends they have like a little party like on sundays i heard it really turns up and they have hookah and stuff too um what i loved of what we ate was pretty much everything everything was hitting um they had some i believe some aki like almost like uh what are they called like almost like an egg roll it was really really good and some shrimp and they had a jerk chicken sandwich oh my goodness that jerk sauce was incredible um and then we were um had the opportunity to make our own beef patties which were delicious as well like all the food is hitting um so i'm really glad to have been invited by cassidy and also to find a really good jamaican spot because y'all know i love me some jamaican food so now I'm just back in my little sarong, sitting at my desk doing some work. I have a ton of campaigns. Like, I'm very grateful to have so much work, but I do feel a little bit overwhelmed, especially with Fashion Month kind of looming. Um, so I know I have to do all of these things and complete them really in the next, I would say two and a half weeks, which for I think I have maybe seven or eight campaigns in two weeks to try and get them all done and like edit it and to a point where I don't need to reshoot, redo anything because I'm going to be traveling and won't be able to like assess those things anymore. Um, it's a little bit mind wracking. So I'm just trying to power through some things and plan and get as many things done. So I think I'm going to go ahead and end out this vlog. So far, it's been a two day vlog. I was going to go to an event tonight, but I can't like I have to work. So I'm just going to work on those things for the rest of the evening. And I am going to start a new vlog probably tomorrow. I'm going to do an updated um, home decor update. I'm having some things done, having some pictures put up having a shelf built um putting up a clothing rack in this room um quite a, a bit of updates are gonna happen this weekend so i'm gonna start that vlog i know you guys love your home decor um so yeah closing out the vlog if you enjoyed it please do give your girl a thumbs up it really does help me out so much it costs you nothing it helps me out um and if you would like to do it from your tv just hit the up button and it'll take you to my face and you should be able to go over and click the thumbs up um it just helps me because once people see how how many people like enjoyed the video it will prompt them to watch it <laughs> so yeah thank you guys so much for watching everything you've seen in today's video including everything i wore shot um, every place I went is linked down below in the description box if you're heading to Miami. Just head to my description box of any of my Miami vlogs. I write down every place I go. So you can start yourself a little like a guide to Miami just by heading to the description box of any vlog that has Miami um, in the title. So I had to make myself another coffee y'all because I'm burning out. I will see you all in the next one. Thanks so much for watching. Click the notification bell so that you never miss a video. I'll see you all in the next one. Bye, guys.